glass. Lovely. And then it's just the inside details. Except for one last thing we need to put on the outside. You remember learning about these flying buttresses? What a word, eh? So, we got about four of them to put on the outside here. So they go on these walls with the double windows on the side. On the eighth block up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You need your stairs. And you're gonna go out three blocks from the base. And on the fourth block, place the stone bricks. Bats squeaking away. Five blocks up. One, two, five. And then you just basically have to connect them using lots of upside down stairs and regular stairs. Like that. And that's your flying buttress. Took me a long time to get that shape right. You can hardly see it. If you don't know what they actually are for, they um, brace the sides of the church to prevent it from falling out and getting crushed under its own weight. Especially back in the day when they were just built of pure stone and just huge, heavy buildings. So five blocks, three blocks out from there, and on the eighth block up. Eight. Put your stone stairs. And then just connect them up. It's getting a little dark again. Voila. This might not be a cathedral, but it's still a pretty big and heavy church. So it should have flying buttresses. So you'll have two per side, four for the entire thing. Not too hard. Not too hard if you know how to place some upside down stairs. One more to go, and then we can work on the inside. The inside is going to get nice and detailed. All right. Still didn't put any glass in this window. Like a complete noob. There we are. Now for the inside. This is where it gets really, really fun. So you can use either regular doors, fancy doors, iron doors, Whatever kind of doors you want. We're gonna need a lot of stone slabs. If I could find them. There we go. Uh, regular stone for the floor. We're gonna need red wool. And we'll pick up what else we need on the way. So, start by filling in your entrance, put down your doors, you can use a, oh, that doesn't look correct, I'm betting they're this far in, and that doesn't work, whatever, I think my other one's a little different, but it does not matter. Replace those with slabs.
And basically, we're going to do an outline of stone slabs around the entire bottom of the floor here. And of course, we're going to go on a diagonal like so. It's going to get a little dark in here, so I should probably throw some torches up quick. Just so you can see what's going on a little better. So we're going around the outside with stone slabs, replacing the ones in front of the windows that are on the level. I like having this stone slab border. It just makes it look nice and neat. Simple. Then you can put stone blocks in for the rest of the floor. So that's the entire floor. And then we're going to have some carpet. Alright. So that's that. Lots and lots of stone. So we're going to put some little altars over here. And I forget what they call this part of the church. It's not an alcove, I don't think. Maybe it is. Something. They usually have altars around there. And, uh, and three, well, you could use carpet if you want, but I just like the flat look of the actual wool blocks. And I suppose it goes from one side to the other. Nice red carpet. And then around the entrance. Two, and this is going to go at the very least to the center. I got a nice pattern in the center, so we're going to need to work this out. Okay, now that I've worked it out. Six blocks from either side. Then three. And then one down, three. And then in the center, it needs to be stone. Like that. That's just how I've designed it. And that'll be the nice carpet. Simple. Then there's a nice stage we have going on back here. Should be a 3x3 three three square. And then I believe it's just stone bricks. Stone bricks around it. Let's go and check the other one. See how it looks. those and then slabs all right the moon is coming up lovely lovely there we go I have fixed it. Perfecto. Get that time back. And so in front of this is going to be slabs. Then one more of those. And another slab. There we are. And then basically we just have some pillars to fool around with here. I put lots of pillars in this design. Stairs in a design like that. 
And then you just take it and go straight up to the roof. Oops. Falling already. And I'll show you what to do when we get the other one up there. Okay. So now we just go around the top. Maybe I don't want to screw around with that one. Just go around the top with more stone bricks. Put in a stone brick to uh, reach the roof. And that's a nice little pillar. I think I did that differently on the other ones. I went like at this side. That looks a little better. It's probably that way. looks all right from down here. I suppose you can really do whatever you want, but that's how I did him. So lots of those pillars. And we have another set of pillars right here. in the center. So that's all four. And then we have one more set by the entrance here. Right on this block. like that. And then they all go up to the roof, and they all get that weird top of the pillar treatment. And then it's just chandeliers and benches, and that's... and that'll be it. Oh, because we are gonna need some light. A lot of light keep this place from spawning a lot of monsters. And it may need additional help with that, but at least this will be a nice start. And they'll look pretty, because, you know, chandeliers are pretty. Alright, all the pillars are finished. So now, in order to make chandeliers, you need torches and fences. And that will be all. And, like, some wool or something, just to help you line everything up and get it correct. So one's gonna go above this, it's gonna be six blocks up. Six. It'll be just straight forward. Go into the roof here. And then you put a torch on each fence. Oh, what is this? There's a hole in the roof. Like that, and then we'll have one on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fence. Make a nice square of fences. Not quite a square, but across whatever. Get it all the way up to the roof. Put in your torches. That lights it up pretty reasonably. 
and we also have one in the center. Six up again. This one looks like it's just one of these. There's going to be two different kinds of chandeliers. There's little tiny ones and there's going to be two big ones. And they're going to be pretty. Set those up. And our last two are where? Four blocks over. And six blocks up. This is going to be a big one. This is going to be double layered. So the bottom layer is going to go two out. Oh. And yeah, we're going to have that to make it a little more circular. And then we're going to go two up and make this smaller chandelier on top of that. And then it goes all the way up to, you guessed it, the roof. Put on a million torches. I like to put them in the corners and the farthest reaching edges. So that's one of our big ones. And then the other one goes over here on this side. How many blocks away? Five. Six blocks up. Oops. Four, five, six. Two out, remember? And then one up, two up, and then build a small chandelier. Raise it up to the roof. And then just put on your torches, and that'll finish up the lighting for now. It should light it up pretty well, but if you need more, then you just put torches along the walls or find some other creative way to make lamps or something. I'm just going to throw one there. Just for fun. So there we go. That's got our big high reaching chandeliers. That looks pretty good. Then all we really need are some of the smaller details. Like benches. And a little stand for the guy to talk at. So get some signs. And you're going to need a wooden pressure plate. So we'll finish up the front first. Put some torches here just for light. Put one of those in the pressure plate. It's really the best way to make one of those things. Otherwise it doesn't really work so well. That's the, the best way I could figure out how to do it. And then one back, one over, two stairs, put signs for armrests. They don't look that good in this texture pack, but I'm sure it looks fine in other texture packs. I should probably make it day again. There we are. And then one more set. Over here. Get those armrests on. And that's pretty much it. There's one more thing I'd like to do. And I'm, I did this in the church that's in my world. 
get yourself some pretty flowers and a flower pot. Oops, if you don't drop it. The flowers on those altars. There we are. Ta-da! Instant gothic church. Well, not that instant, and probably not quite gothic church. But that is how you do it. Simple-ish. Took me a long time to work out this design, but... Oh, did I miss another window? Are you kidding me? Uh, okay, it's not quite done, but you know what I mean. That should be it. So I hope this helped. I hope some of you guys can use this church in a town, a world, somewhere. This church is... What is with that cross? What happened? Ay, ay, ay. This church is going to be featured in uh, my Hunger Games that's coming up. And you can check out, check it out in the Hunger Games preview. You can see the church standing there proudly in a nice town. And I'll see you guys next time. Some more gaming and other stuff. Bye for now.